guys welcome back to my channel in today's video I'll be showing you guys how to make an easy but yet delicious Thanksgiving or even Christmas turkey so for this you need two limes to clean your turkey and I have some cooking twine that I'll be using to tie my turkey some garlic and two onions some celery and two pounds of um, carrots and I have one stick of butter and I have some herbs that I'll be chopping I have some rosemary, some thyme, and some sage. I'll be making an herb butter, which I do have a video up on this channel showing you guys how I make my herb butter. So make sure you check out that video. And I have two tablespoons of Haitian spice or a piece that I'll be using to season the inside of my turkey. I do have a video of how I make this up on this channel as well. So make sure you check that description box so you can see those videos. And I have a 14 pound butterball turkey and you'll be needing two, two to three tablespoons of olive oil and some salt and pepper to taste and I will be using this roasting pan to roast my turkey in and you want to go ahead and preheat your oven to 275 degrees please check the description box where I will list everything I use in this video for you guys so let's get cooking guys okay so now it's time to clean our turkey you want to go ahead and take the leg out of that wrapping skin and you want to cut out any extra fat like this you don't need in your turkey so just remove the excess fat it should come off just by peeling it with your hands and then go inside and remove the neck I'm surprised this one don't have a bag with the liver and gizzard and everything or with the heart so I'm gonna go ahead and cut this part out and just put it right in there just like that and again just like my roasted turkey you wanna take out as much of the stuff inside as you possibly can so like that you know just peel out everything inside as much as you can just like that inside of it look pretty clean actually so now you want to take your lime and squeeze the juice inside and go ahead and massage massages inside your bird just to clean it really 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 well Again, peel out any extra fat that you find. And then take the lime and brush on the outside. I have some feathers on mine. I don't need to eat that, so just peel it off. And I'll take the other piece of my lime and just clean it. So I'm going to turn it and clean the back side of this. And once I'm done, I'm going to run it under some hot water, not too, too hot run it under the hot water and then pat it dry just so I can start seasoning my turkey okay so now it's time to season my turkey that um, bag I was telling you guys about it looked like this it was actually hiding on the back of the turkey by the neck part so now that I already washed and cleaned my turkey I'm gonna go ahead and sprinkle some salt in the cavity of my turkey and just rub it in really nice and then I'm going to take my Haitian spice and rub that inside my turkey as well I won't be rubbing it on the outside because I'm going to use that herb butter just so my turkey can be nice and moist under the skin I just want some flavor inside the bird so that's why I'm using my Haitian spice so just dump it all in there and I'm going to put some black pepper in there as well and now I'm going to take my onions at least one of the onion that I just cut in quarters and put it inside my turkey and then my garlic I didn't even bother peeling it I'm going to stuff it inside the turkey and I'm going to take some of the herbs and stuff it inside the turkey as well 
and I'll take some of the celery, not too much, and just put inside. Just like so. I don't like to put any stuffing inside my turkey just because I'm not a big fan of stuffing itself. I don't even use stuffing on my table at all during the Thanksgiving um, time or even Christmas. I'm just not a big fan of stuffing. So now you want to try to go underneath the skin with your fingers. Just try to separate the skin from the breast. Try not to peel off the skin. If you need to, you can use a knife, but I don't mind doing it like this. This is the same thing I do to my chicken when I make chicken. Just wanna make sure I create a pocket to put my herb butter. Okay. This looks deep enough, I think. I'm trying to get all the way there. So when I put my herb butter, it can be nice and seasoned. So I already made my herb butter. Again, I do have a video up on this channel showing you guys how I make it, except I added garlic to this. So you wanna go ahead and just rub your turkey. Just kinda put them inside so it can just melt all over. Put some to the side. Once it starts melting, it's going to spread out all over. Okay. Put a little more right there. And then now you want to take the rest and put it on top and just massage all over. Oh, it's hard for the butter to stay on top, but it does not have to be perfect. This is why it's important to dry the skin with some paper towel. Don't have to be perfect. Just put big chunks on top. It's going to melt off anyways. So I'm going to continue doing this and then I'm going to wash my hand and then I'm going to come back. We're going to add some salt and pepper to this and add this into our vegetable dish. Okay, I went ahead and cut all my veggies like I said before. Now I'm going to sprinkle some, drizzle some um, olive oil and then go in with some black pepper just to season my vegetables and then some salt. The amount of salt and pepper you use, you guys, you know it's totally up to you. And I'm going to add some thyme to this and just mix everything up. Okay, now I'm ready to take my turkey and pour right on top of this. Let me turn this around for you guys. So I placed it right on top. Now you are going to want to tie the leg of your turkey. This is when your cooking twine come in handy. So just take the legs, nothing crazy, nothing special. Just tie it up just so it can stay. Two people will make this job so much easier. Just so it's not all over the place when it's cooking. Okay, so now you wanna take the rest of your butter and just put it underneath as much as you can. And take some salt Season your bird. 
and then some black pepper to season. Make sure you tuck the wings under. And then now it's ready to go under the oven at 275 degrees for two and a half hours. I'm going to put a foil on top for the first two and a half hours and then take the foil out for um, the rest of the cooking time. So for two and a half hours, bake it with foil on top. I totally forgot to grab my foil, so that's why I don't have it, but I am going to cover it with a foil for two and a half hours. All right, guys, it's been two and a half hours since my turkey has been baking with the foil on top and this is what it's looking like um as you can see it has some juices from the turkey but if you want you can definitely add some um some chicken broth or turkey broth to this if you wish now i'm gonna go ahead and take that remaining butter that i have left over and just pour over it and then you want to increase your oven to 375 degrees and we are going to bake this for another two to three hours without any foil on top. All right guys, my turkey is pretty much done. Um, while it was on the oven uncovered for that two to three hours, I every 30 minutes I would take a spoon and take some of the juices and just pour on top of it. So I did that for, um, Four times every 30 minutes I would do that but other than that this is pretty much it I won't cut into this because I'm going to put the foil back on top of this and allow it to sit for 30 minutes before I cut into it um, I do have a video up on this channel showing you guys how I clean and cut up turkey and also I do have a deep frying um, turkey video up on this channel for you guys to check out and I also have an old um, jerk turkey video that you guys can check out as well but other than that then that guys this will do it for this video please don't forget to check me out on social media Instagram snapchat and Facebook and also my Twitter and I hope you guys will have a good Thanksgiving I hope you guys try these recipes and share with everybody you love I am so thankful for you guys for supporting this channel and that will do it for this video guys please don't forget to subscribe to my channel comment like and please please share these videos as always thank you guys so so much for watching and I love you guys for watching see you in my next video bye bye all right guys I had to come back and show you guys how I plate this turkey I had some frozen cranberries that were in my freezer for like six months um, that I thawed and put on here and I have some green apples and the same herbs that I use to stuff my turkey and if you don't have these you can use some onions carrots or whatever you want but I just wanted to come back and show you guys the plating since it's so so beautiful but I will see you guys in my next video bye bye